loving this tripod. But uh, I'm in my driveway, so I'm like really weird about it. Anyway, uh, on the last episode of the Miata, um, I told you guys it was running kind of rough, and I drove it home, it ran just fine. It's been running fine ever since, ever since the last episode. I've been driving it every day, uh, back and forth to work, and running errands and stuff. It's running perfect. Um, I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it. It was, it was a joke. I did post it on Facebook to uh, Facebook Marketplace to see what kind of offers I got. And I'm getting like the craziest offers. It's weird. And then I'm getting like some people that, uh, would you take a thousand dollars for it? I'm like, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. But uh, anyway, uh, so it has been running great. But I have this. And if you don't know what this is, I found it in a Jetta that I, uh, I bought a while back. Anyway, um, yeah, it is a Dixie horn. And I've had it for a long time and I haven't been able to put it in anything because I, I didn't know what to put it in. And I think this would just be pretty hilarious to put it in the Miata. So, uh, I'm missing one of the horns. Uh, it comes with these horns, if you don't know. It comes with these little horns here and I'm missing one. So, with that being said, uh, I'm looking for one. So if any of you guys know of any horns or these horn attachments where you can get them, uh, post it in my comments or send me one and I'll stick it on and I'll shout you out in a video. But let's get to installing this because this is gonna be cool. All right, so it is, uh, it's getting a little dark and uh, so I'm gonna try this out. My buddy Taylor, shout out to Taylor. He's one of the, he's actually one of my members. Um, he showed me some camera stuff. So I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna try and light this up so you can see like where the horn is actually going. So give me a second. I already said to click this. It's supposed to be oh dear. Let's see here. This is like a dial that you can turn. Well, I don't know if that worked. I think it was just the same as auto. I don't know, I'm not a good camera. Let's put it on auto. I don't know, I couldn't tell. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna sit like somewhere here. Somewhere in this general area. Sorry for the mess. But this is where it'll sit. I have five more horn, or four? Is that only three? One, two, three, four. There was five. Five, right there, sorry. So I got five more. It takes six horns to make the whole sound. I've only got five. So we're gonna make this work. I'm gonna try and make it work. So yeah, just getting the ground wire hooked up. I tested it out. It works on the switch. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get it hooked up, and then I am gonna try it out. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble because this should be pretty loud. All right, I got everything hooked up properly on the air horn or the Dixie horn, and I barely clicked it and it was so loud so I decided to tell her's laughing at me because I'm vlogging <laughs> but uh, I clicked it and it was like so loud so I cut it off uh, I have it wired up on a switch so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just do it on the way to work tomorrow and see it see if it'll make a noise and then I'll film it I told you guys that I would uh, show you what it sounded like, you know, the next morning. So, I'll have my camera face it up. So, I told you guys I'd show you what it sounded like the next morning. <laughs> uh, I am missing a horn. Uh, I am missing one of the horns, but it, it sounds good. Uh, it just needs one of the horns. I don't know where to buy them. I have to buy them. 
Uh, the Miata is running good. I'm gonna be working all day today, all the way till like 11 o'clock. So uh, I brought my camera just in case I do vlog or do anything. But uh, I'll take you on a little trip for working stuff. So he may be here. You get a but new seal. You get a new seal. No. Okay, then it won't fix. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I showed him the Dixie horn. What'd you think? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this puppy may be gone. I may be, uh, Toy. I may be trading it off. Hey, let me see that. This will make a funny video. <laughs> Taze yourself. No, you. No. So you selling it? I'm trading it for a 2005. Let's get your reaction to this. A 2005 supercharged, supercharged. Mini Cooper. <laughs> uh, is it Eugene's? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, look. Hear me out. It's a really nice car. It's got a lot of stuff done to it. It's like clutch, uh, just everything. I'm There's not. I'm not. One. Yeah. It's like super nice. Okay. So it's a five speed, super nice car, slowered, nice wheels. I'm gonna swap this for it. The dude's really wanting the Miata. I mean, like hardcore wanting the Miata. I don't know why, but he is. So we're gonna meet up and check it out. All right, I'm gonna meet up with him, check out, make sure the car's not gonna like die on me as the Miata is done. But the Miata hasn't really broke down. It's just like the fuel pump keeps messing up and I have to keep fixing it. But I think it's fixed 100% now. But anyway, I think that's what he is wanting to do to trade. I'll throw up a little image here for you guys. Bam. And then the just like, that's me like, you know, that's me like, bam. Just for the, yeah. Do uh, it. I should do it. Bam. See? Another picture. Yeah. And that's how you do it. That's how you edit right there. So, ba, ba, ba. See? <laughs> anyway, we're going to go get to work. I thought I would vlog this. I thought it would be pretty cool to show like what we do kind of yeah let's go it's gonna be like gonna, there's hour. these little trucks behind us these little they're called penskis or penske owns them they're actually uh dot trucks that's what we well that's what i drive because i'm like the only one that can drive them <laughs> but right now i'm the only one that can drive the truck right now apparently <laughs> but uh we're going to get in one of these trucks and we're going to the show we're going to load the show out and then we'll show you the process of that i guess what up i unfortunately didn't get to film anything but we were at protective stadium we were doing a loadout which is basically just getting all the gathering all the gear up putting it on the truck and coming home so it was, would have been boring anyway but like i said we didn't get to um i didn't get to film anything there was a crowd of people there um we were loading out and by the time we were done the crowd had just you know dispersed just then so that's what you see I like skim over the top of the protective stadium sign um but i wish i would have got to film it, it would have been really cool i thought about doing a time lapse of us and throwing it in here but again there was a crowd of people and i didn't want to set anything up you know to disturb anybody so so yeah but we let it out and come back to the warehouse and then put some stuff on another truck and just clocked out came home and that's about it uh i will start I'm going to get a video for you guys for like what I do for a living. So just so you know, keep up with it or whatnot. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace. And by the way, I want to throw this in here. I am thinking about trading for a Mini Cooper. That was a real thing. Um, however, I am going to thoroughly look it through to make sure. I know I always joke about my car, break it down and stuff like that. But the Miata runs really well. It's a really good car. Um, it's just loud and rowdy, and I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's not a race car, but it's like built like a race car. I mean, the thing is stiff, and it'll get down if you want it to get down. And uh, the problem I was having was like the little seal and the fuel pump was falling out, which I already told you guys that. I fixed it. Uh, it's been running tremendous since then. So. Uh, but I am going to look at a Mini Cooper hopefully this weekend. It's a 05 supercharged Mini Cooper. 
I think it's going to be worth it. It's got a lot done to it. Um, I will, I will film going and getting it, and uh, going through that process. But still talking to the dude. We're sending videos, messages back and forth of the cars. The car sounds really good. His his is also loud and rowdy, and unironically, and it pops and crackles and all that. This is a really nice, uh, really nice car. So. I will let you guys know more details on that as I get more details. So, again, peace.